Hi, I'm Michael Pfeiffer, Principal Consultant and Trainer at Industrial Metallurgists. In this video, I'm going to explain a little bit about tensile testing. So here is a tensile tester. Uh, tensile testing is used to measure the, the tensile properties of, of metals and other materials, also plastics. Uh, this shows a sample being held between the two groups of a tensile tester. Um, and here's a close-up of the sample and the, and, and the two grips. So tensile testing is performed for a lot of different reasons. Um, it, we want to understand the, the, the mechanical properties of metals in many situations. And sometimes we're just using it to, to understand the effects of manufacturing processes or to verify the materials meet the meet their requirements. And sometimes we're using, using the information to compare the, the mechanical properties to the, uh, the, the microstructure and the composition of the metal and to understand the correlation between them. So one of the reasons why tensile testing is performed is to verify that materials meet the requirements. Um, it could be to verify that the output from manufacturing processes is meeting the requirements. So uh, steel mills, aluminum mills, and other metal uh, producers use tensile testing to verify that the materials that they're producing meets the requirements. Also, component fabricators and heat treaters will use um, tensile testing to verify that their processes are resulting in materials that, that meet their, their tensile uh, properties requirements. And people also use tensile testing to verify that the materials and components that they're receiving from suppliers meet requirements for yield strength, tensile strength, elongation, and other properties. And then finally, or not finally, but also people in, in mills and component fabricators and heat treaters will evaluate the effects of manufacturing process changes on metal properties. And perhaps they're developing new processes or making changes to the process, and they want to make sure that the, 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 the changes or the new process that they're developing is, is resulting in the properties that are needed. And finally, tensile testing is used during failure analysis. It could be when a component fails or fractures or when it's having difficulties fabricating components and want to verify that the material meets the design requirements or that it's appropriate for the application. So tensile testing is also important for failure analysis. So with tensile testing, the sample is held between these two grips, the bottom grip and a top grip. The top grip moves up at a certain speed and we measure the amount of deformation of the sample during the test and the applied force, and the sample is pulled until it fractures. And here is a short video showing a sample being pulled. You see the sample uh, deforms and fractures in the middle of the sample. So there are a number of properties that are determined from the data that's obtained. So the, the force data is used to calculate the stress and the deformation data is used to calculate the strain. And from that, we can we plot the stress versus strain and we can get a number of different things. We can determine the material's yield strength, tensile strength, its elongation and elastic modulus. Um, that's what people are, the information people are typically interested in. Can also determine reduction of area, plastic strain, strain ratio and strain hardening exponent. For people involved in component fabrication, um, plastic strain ratio and strain hardening exponent can be important for, for um, simulating and understanding the processes. Um, so that's it. That's the basics of tensile testing. If you're interested in learning more, we have a one hour course on tensile testing. It's at this link. Um, you'll learn a lot more details about the tensile test. And if you're interested in learning about other aspects of metallurgy, check out our metallurgy courses page. There's lots of information about different courses. All of this is all these courses are geared to design, manufacturing, and quality engineers, people that are involved in, in component design, people are involved in, in materials manufacturing and in component fa uh, fabrication, um, and other aspects and other things when people are dealing with metals used in products. And finally, if you have any questions, feel free to email or call with questions. Thanks again for listening. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Thanks. Bye.